Good morning, everyone. This is Tall Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolve Crystal Isles map. This is day number 144 of our little adventure here. And while I'm kind of waiting to do an imprint on this Megatherium here, it lacks 3 minutes and 31 seconds. But I think I'm going to fly out and check on this Stegosaur real quick first because I've got 3 minutes and I've got a stegosaur over here knocked out on the hillside hopefully about tame by now so let's go check on that if I remember exactly where I left it at brontosaurus I think it's up here on this top ledge but I've got a 145 stegosaur knocked out that I knocked out yesterday and I'm kind of thinking it should be about done it is not yet Check how much it lacks really quick here. 20% tame. Boy, it lacks a lot. Still got plenty of vegetables though. 72 bonus levels on vegetables. I'm sure it's going to lose a couple of levels on vegetables. But I don't have no kibble for it. So I'm going to get back and do the imprint on that Megatherium. And that thing's going to take a while, looks like. I was thinking it would be about done by now. It's going to take a lot longer than I thought. Let's see if anything new has spawned in over here. I occasionally get T-Rexes and Carnos over in here, so I check this place a little bit. In case anything dangerous spawns in, which probably means alpha creatures will also spawn over here. And that's going to be really close to my base, so i got to keep an eye out for that stuff. Let's see how long our Megatherium likes being ready for an imprint. Actually, I probably ought to clear the runway a little bit in case it wants to go for a walk. It may very well want to go for a walk, and yeah, I still got the problem with the moss chops uh, doing the harvesting thing. What do you want, Mega 3? And one more minute to decide. Hopefully, something I've got. If not, I'll have to crowd pot him. I did finally put me a door over here in a step, and I threwed up a few more glass panels. I think I'm going to run two runs of glass across through there and a glass floor and I think I'm going to put all my artifacts up there. I'm going to make like a row of artifacts up on top of those glass things. That way you can see them on the inside and the outside. And let's get this imprint on this Megatherium and we might get out and do something else. we got 35 more seconds. Check the feeding trough because he has probably eaten quite a bit of stuff. If anybody knows how to get the moss chops off of that harvesting animation, please let me know because it's kind of irritating. I know I can put them in cryopods, but I can't get eggs off of them in cryopods. Of course, I ain't getting no eggs anyway go here and see if we got the imprint ready to go yet. Cooked meat, I can definitely do that. Cooked meat is an easy one. There you go, 100% imprint on my baby Megatherium. Them wild, yellow hands are kind of wild looking. Let's see if we can get him out of the floor. Let's follow one. Come here. I don't like you being stuck in the floor. There. Oh, he is definitely stuck, in me. Yep, he is stuck in the floor. I'll have to crowd pot him out of there once he gets grown. I guess that's all right, though. If you raise baby creatures on floors and stuff, they tend to get stuck. Which I know that was a thing. Okay, let's see what we can do here. What have I got in my inventory? Track darts and stuff. 
I did see something yesterday I need to go check out, so let's go do that. We've got our imprint. We did get 100% imprint, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, it doesn't say nothing about needing another one. And it does say 100%. So, wow, this guy's got 555.8% melee damage after imprint. So he would be a really good one. Is it a he or a she? Are you a male or a female? You are a female one. Let's go do what we was thinking about. We actually, yesterday, we was out flying around. And we flew right by a T-Rex right close to base here, and we didn't even see it. And we flew pretty close to it, right in, wide, or right in plain sight of us, and we didn't even see it. But I watched back over the, yesterday's video, and I seen it in yesterday's video. And it's just right down here. It basically, if, been a, if it had been a snake, it probably would have bit me because I flew pretty close to it. And I was just flying along looking for stegosaurs, and I did not even see the T-Rex, and it was right there it is. I mean, I flew just, basically, I flew about this close right here to it, and I did not even see it. And it is a 25, so I've just got to get rid of this one. It's not a good one. Maybe a better one to spawn in. But yeah, I couldn't believe I didn't see that yesterday when I was over here. I just flew right by it. Didn't even look that way. Then I watched back on my video and thought, man, how did I miss that? So if I missed a T-Rex standing right by me, I ain't no telling what I missed in this game. I pretty much get tunnel vision though when I start looking for something. And I was out looking for stegos. Of course, I was scoping other stuff while I was doing it, and I still didn't see the T-Rex. Like this tech creature is only a 60, and I need electronics, so I guess I'm going to get rid of him. He must have spawned in since yesterday, because this guy wasn't here yesterday. Let's see the other parasaurs. We need to get rid of those. Maybe we'll get some better ones spawn in. 130. Yeah, I'm not going to tame a 130. That's a pretty good one, but I'm not going to ever tame it. Probably the only way I'm going to tame any more parasaurs is if I see some super high level tech ones. I might possibly tame a 150 regular if I see a 150. Seen something moving over here, and I'm coming over here because I don't know what it was. It is a pig and a patchy rhinosaurus. Level 20, and what level is the pig for the Phomomia? Level 45. Let's get rid of these two. That'll free up some spawn spots. Maybe we'll get something better. And there's one of those weird looking plants, which is supposed to do stuff, but I don't think they do. I think there's I think they're supposed to spit out seeds. And you can get mushrooms doing this occasionally. But I just want to clear this spot out so I don't risk it taken out by something like right over there. What is that? A stego? Level 90 stego. These plants are supposed to do stuff, but I don't know what. I think they're supposed to spit out seeds, and I've never had one actually do it. So I don't know. Let's get rid of this stegosaur over here. It is a low level one. Got a really high level one to tame it up. There's a bunch more mushrooms. There's another patchy rhinosaurus. Can't see nothing in this mess. Level 50. Too many trees. I have to go into first person, I guess. I'm just going to leave, though. Let's see, did I actually get any rare mushrooms from harvesting those trees? I did not. Got a ton of meat, though. What does it take to get seeds out of these things? 
can't seem to interact with them. Tempted to try to chop it down, see if that does anything, but I don't guess I should do that. I don't know. Should I? Should I see if I can actually harvest it? Get my wyvern off of it. Maybe I can interact with it. I don't know. Doesn't appear I can. What if I hatchet it or something? Ain't getting nothing. Try the pick. No, nope, ain't getting a thing. Yeah, let's get out of this area then. Maybe some more stuff will spawn in since I cleared a few things. I'm not going to even mess with the white drop because it'll just be a bunch of thatch building supplies or something like that. Something I do not need. Boy, them Brontos have spawned in since I was just around the corner here. I figured I'd have to get further away than that to get stuff to spawn in. What level are you guys? 20 and a 85. Let's just go ahead and get rid of those also. Do the 20 first because it'll go down quick and then the other one won't have much of a chance after that. Get rid of these guys. We might get some Rexes or something to spawn in. Loaded down in meat and stuff. What level is a Gallimimus? Could never tell. I'm not really planning on taming a Gallimimus anyway, though. I am curious, though. Can a Wyvern pick up a Gallimimus? Let's check that out really quick here. Should be able to. Doesn't seem I can, though. Wyverns on the other maps can pick up Allosaurs and Carnos and Stegosaurs. These can't pick up nothing. You can pick up Thylas and anything smaller than that. I think you can pick up Parasaurs. Basically what a Argentavis can pick up. You can't pick up a Gallimimus. I bet an Argentavis can pick up a Gallimimus. I really think they probably could. level was that stupid pteranodon? It got out of my sight into those bushes. He's right on me, and he... Level 50. There comes a herd of bugs. Let's get rid of the bugs. Let's cook some bugs. Toasted bugs. that running from? Is that a Microraptor or something flying along there? Sure is. Microraptor. I don't think Microraptors will knock you off a Wyvern. I have not had that happen. I think it was a 25, but I can't get it in my scope good. 25. Yep, let's cook some turkey here. Let's roast a turkey. 25 micro raptor. And there's a carno. If I spotted a 150 carno, I wouldn't be too opposed to taming one. I'm so wait, I can't move now. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Just a ton of meat, probably. Yeah, we did get some wood and stuff. And we got a Rex bone skin. Probably from the T-Rex. I'm gonna keep some of that stuff, I guess. Then we got a track here now. We haven't tamed any tracks. That's a 140, so that is not a bad one. Right over there's another one. 55. Put a water well up over here by our trap so we can get drinks. Might as well put it to use, start and get a drink off of it. 
I've got to go dump out this guy's inventory so I can look around. Let's go do that. Let's dump all this meat into something. Probably load up a T-Rex with it. If I can get back to base, I am flying really slow. I was kind of wanting to try out that Stegosaur today, but I don't think it's going to even tame up today. If I had more kibble, it might, but I don't have any more. I'm going to get this yellow supply drop, and I see a raptor down there, even though I don't plan to tame any. 55, sure ain't going to tame a 55, and then there's the red Spinosaur. It looks like there's two Spinosaurs down here now. Okay, why do we not land? Got two Spinosaurs in their little Spinosaur spot. Wow, nothing in that. Let's check out the level on this other Spinosaur. That might be the 135. No, that is an 85. And this other one I think is a 95, the bright red one. No, they're both 85s, huh? Let's get this... Wyvern unloaded. I should kill those two Spinosaurs so some more will spawn in there. Kinda hate to kill that Redder on it. But it's too low level to tame so it doesn't matter. Okay, what do we got to dump here? Everything? And I can't even move, I don't think, like this. See if I can move. If I can't, I'll have to stuff it all back into my wyvern. At least enough to where I can get up. Well, I still can't move. There we go. We're moving now. Maybe Mega Theorem, are you doing all right? Guess I should put a little more meat in here because he's going to be eating quite a bit. I guess I'm going to do something I didn't plan on doing. I'm going to cook up some more of this prime meat. If I can search function. Yeah, that figures there's still a ton of it left in my inventory. I don't know where I got that much prime at. Did I kill an alpha creature recently? I don't think I did. Oh, I killed those two brontosaurs and a T-Rex, and that was some and a carno. Probably ain't gonna have no storage space for all this. Wow, that is just an absolute ton of meat. Which one of you T-Rexes is gonna carry all this meat? I guess I'll put it in this one on the edge here. It's probably already full of meat, though. I've loaded them all down. Catch for all. Okay, that was most of the weight I was carrying, I think. I'm going to finish cleaning my inventory out, and then we're going to run back over and check on that... that uh, Stegas where I've got knocked out. We've got a bunch more hide. And a little bit of thatch. Electronics and oil. We must need more electronics. And more of this Dust. I guess I should put this dust, uh, element dust, in this chest over here. 
but it's kind of piling up. I've got a chest here with stuff I can put in the fabricator, but I haven't really been doing it. And we've got a few more things to dump, and we've got to get out and do some looking around today. Okay, another one of these masks. That's actually full of those, though. And my chest are filling up again on me. Don't want to put the mask in that chest. I guess I can stow it in here in the extra canteen. I need to start throwing canteen, canteens away also. So we're getting overloaded. Overloaded with everything. I need room for this meat in one of these chests, maybe. Serving bin. And some fiber. Wow. This Megatherium has just eat me. It's just swallowed me whole. Put the thatch in this guy. If he can hold it. Yep, let's go check on our stegosaur now. We're still carrying way too much meat on the wyvern, but... Be alright for now. Fly right up here. I think we probably got a stegosaur that's probably at about 40% now. Maybe it's a little higher. It's at 47%, and it has lost a level now. But it's still good on vegetables, so we just have to leave. Let's, what are we gonna do today? thinking I might fly through the redwoods a little bit. I haven't done much of that, really. Have been in the redwoods some, but not very much. So let's go explore the redwoods a little bit today, I think. See what actually lives over there. I know they style us in the redwoods, and there's dire bears, and there's terror birds, and perlovia, of course. And Carno's right there's a Carno. Let's see what the Carno is and probably get rid of him. Carno, are you very good level? Nope. Toasty Carno. Parasitherium. Terror Bird. 45 Terror Bird. I probably shouldn't have killed that one. That was a pretty good Terror Bird. See how long it takes me to get jumped by a Thyla. And there's probably lots of Bigfoots over here. And there's a Dodic. Really wasn't expecting Dodics over here, but there's a 55 Dodic. Let's see if I can actually spot a Thyla in a tree without it jumping me. That's probably something I haven't done in a long time. Kind of hard to spot them. Another Dodic. 35. That looks like a Thyla right there. I think I have actually spotted one hanging out of a tree. Right up there. It's a 45. Not a very good one, but there is a Thyla. A while since I've actually seen them hanging out of trees. If I get on that side of that tree, it'll definitely try to jump me. I guess I should go ahead and try to get him out of the tree and get rid of him so a better one will spawn in. Let's see if he'll attack me from this angle. Yep, there he went. There wants something else to run in. Oh, it's got to bleed on me. I 
What is that under me? A terror bird stuck? What level is a terror bird? It's just completely jammed up a 130 terror bird. And I cannot hit him up under me like that. I guess I'm gonna leave him alone though. Let's see if we can spot any more thylas like that. I actually don't think a thala can jump you off a wyvern. I've not had that happen yet. I've had them try a bunch of times, but they always seem to fail. Of course, me walking around here on the ground, it might be a different story. There's another terror bird. I want to get rid of him, but it might be a really good one or something. Nope, just a 60. And a Carno. I'm gonna leave them guys alone, I guess. I really got no reason to. Holy moly. There is a spider cave over here. I wonder if there's a brood mother in here. I ain't got enough nerve to go in here, I don't think. Let's poke her head in. We have found a spider cave. It sure is the world, and I've got some effect going on here. Oh, it's just I'm webbed up. It's what it is. It's just slowing me down. I am not ready for this. I'm going to bring my Megatherium for this. Let's get out of the cave and show the GPS on this. And get this web effect off of me. There is apparently a spider cave at... Didn't know this was here. I haven't watched very many videos, though, of people doing this, but this spider cave is at 34 by 29.4 34 by 29.4 there is a spider cave and like I said, I'll probably come and explore this later when I've got to bring my thyla over here or something, so I'll be feeling a lot more confident not too confident going in there on a wyvern. Over there's the honey cave. So it's right next to the honey cave. Let's fly on through the trees here and see if we can spot any more thylas. We probably won't see them. They'll probably just come flying at us. And we'll see them after they hit my wyvern. It's really kind of hard to find these guys, isn't it? I guess I should land here and make sure I actually got my claws off of that last one that I killed. Did I get some thyla claws off that last thyla? Yeah, I did. Dump some of this junk out of my inventory. Okay, see any more thylas? You go to looking up, you get a, this stupid grass and stuff gets up in your face and you can't see nothing. Okay, let's fly down and around this little river in here. I really haven't explored the redwoods. I didn't know that spider cave was there for sure. I didn't know the honey cave was there after I watched a few other people's videos. I didn't actually find that myself. See any thalas anywhere? We wouldn't be too opposed to taming another one if we found a really high level one. Lots of metal nodes up in here. There's a Diplodocus. Let's get down here on the ground and look around a little bit better. Go down here by the river's edge. There's a lot of metal right there.
kind of going to explore up this river, I think. See what we can see. This wyvern's tail keeps flopping up. Makes me think there's something right behind him when they're not. What happened there? Something looked really weird for a minute. Not sure what it was. There's a moose and another diplodocus. I'm kind of expecting to get jumped at any minute, so I'm kind of trying to look a little bit. Trying to check the trees. See a terror bird popping up and down up on the hilltop over there. Right here. Just a waterfall coming out of here, I think, probably. I found another beehive. Sure did. It's not in a really good place. It's apparently just a waterfall. I wonder if it's a cave back in there. Be awful hard to explore up in there, wouldn't it? How long is it going to take before a Thala jumps at me? On the Vulgaro map, I just circled and circled the redwoods, and I never could find a thyla. I was expecting to get jumped all the time, and it never did happen. There's a trench of some sort. Wow, it's a really deep trench. Nothing right there. I kind of figured that would be a cave or something, but it's not. Quite some cliffs around here. Not going to be a very exciting episode of me just out here flying through the redwoods, I don't think. But that's what I want to do today. Check this area out a little bit. Kind of hunt for thylas. See how rare they actually are. I've seen very few of them actually. That one I killed a while ago is only the third one I've seen in the redwoods. And all three of them tried to jump me. But failed. So that's why I'm kind of thinking maybe a wyvern can't be jumped off a wyvern with a thyla. Maybe. Might still be able to happen. Guess it might depend on the angle where you're at when you're flying by. We've got another cave here, maybe. Nope, just a little spot under the rocks. Doesn't go nowhere. It's 
go down to the water's edge and see if there's anything down here. This is kind of like a boat dock right here. It'd be a great place to put a water pen and stuff. Right next to the ocean. Nice little ramp coming up out of it. I'm not going to build in the redwoods though. It's just too harsh an area. Too dangerous over in here. This is some heck of a cliff face over here. What do we got down here? We got a Spinosaur down here below us. Let's see if we can get a scope on him. Level 50 Spino. And a couple of Argies. I guess I'm going to fly back through here. I see something right there, a tech stegosaur. Let's see what level this tech stegosaur is. I wouldn't be opposed to taming a 180 tech stegosaur. And there's a allosaur pack up on the hill. That is a 156. It is a pretty good one. It's not a 180, though. An allosaur pack up on the hill is going to make doing anything here impossible. Uh, I'd get up there and get rid of the Allosaur pack, but if I was to get jumped, let's go ahead and try it. If I get jumped up here, I'm going to get things killed. Me and my... Me and my wife are both probably. If a stupid Tyler or something pops out here any second, that would be a disaster. <laughs> Unfortunately, my wyvern is really good. Got that bleed on me, though. Three Allosaur brains. And a lot of stuff to throw away. I've been trying to keep the arrows and stuff. There's a purple drop. I want to go try to get it. Find it now. I can't even find it. Where did I see that purple drop? And I swear it was in this direction. Completely lost it though. Okay, purple drop. I'm sure I seen one. Maybe it just vanished right as I took off. Lots of Argentavis is down there. There's a white drop. We don't need a white drop though. Let's head back toward base, I think. We're gonna do a little bit more looking on the way. Probably get hit by another thala here in a minute or two. I sure ain't spotting none though. one in this clump of trees, but I don't see one at all. So they probably ain't then. There's a green drop. It's going to be total trash, but I'm going to fly down here and see. Let's 
see what's in it. Got a gilly boot blueprint. I think I'm gonna be head on out of the redwoods. I ain't seeing a whole lot of nothing. I see I'm right back over to the honey cave though. Right here's the top entrance for the honey cave. You see these big orange crystals and that buzzing sound. You know you're there, and then there's some entrances down on the sides of these cliffs that you can get in there. But I'm not really wanting to mess with that. I was just kind of over here looking to see if there was any anything interesting creatures, maybe thylas and stuff. And I did find something today I didn't know about right in this area right here. I think is where it actually is. We've got a spider cave over here. Right here is a spider cave that I kind of want to bring Omega-3 in before I go in there. Might not be nothing in there at all though. Let's poke her head back in there. Her wyvern is pretty strong. I don't think anything in here probably will hurt it. At least not easily. Unless there is a brood mother in here. Let's go. How big is the entrance is a good question, I guess. And how far does it actually go? I can't seem to move right here. Is these spider webs damaging me any? Don't seem to be. I don't much like doing this. feel much better on my Megatherium over here. Oh, that is a Arthropleura. What level are the Arthropleuras? 95 and a 55. I think I'm going to leave. This is definitely a cave for the Megatherium. Get my little baby Megatherium raised up and put a really good saddle on him and he'll just walk through this like it was nothing. Okay, if I get the webs off of me, I'm gonna fly back over and check on my bait or my knocked out stegosaur. Then we'll probably call it a day. We didn't really get much done today. Did find that spider cave though, that is something new. I haven't got no food, at least not on that spot. Okay, I see a red supply drop. I'm gonna check that first. And it is just about to get dark on us. There's my base popping in. I'm betting this red drop is gonna be in the water. I actually figured out how to get drops in the water though off a of wyvern. Shouldn't be too bad, if it is. Just have to fly really slow over the water spot and then jump off the wyvern in and get it and then you can get back on your wyvern. Fixing to do it right here, I guess, because some red drops are pretty good. It is a little bit risky, but... If you don't get your wyvern in the water enough to where it'll dismount you, you can do this. Like this. Your wyvern usually stays where it's at so you can get back on it pretty easily. For the drop though. I've done that a few times. Worked out pretty good for me. I haven't died yet anyway from it. Let's get over here and I need to put my meat back in the regular spot so I can actually get something to eat. See how far along our stegosaur is. I think it's right in here. Go Stegosaur. There he is. 
Okay, there's Mistakasaur. I, I was really hoping he would be done today. But he's not. And I've got a bunch of junk blueprints I need to toss. What is that? That is a blueprint for a Morella Top saddle. Let's see how much your sp or Stegosaur lacks. Well, he's going to be really close to waking up about the same time it tames. And it has lost two levels now, and it's eaten through a lot of that vegetables. But I think it will be alright. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. It's about dark. In fact, it is 2200 hours. So it's going to be pitch dark here soon. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Tyre Creek Rock on the Crystal Isles map. Signing out.